Hello everyone, I'm Ling. My full name is Tan Nguyen Hai Ling. I'm one of the students at Lebing Secondary School and I am enthusiastic in reading books. Perhaps my love in reading had been around since I was young when my mom told me the story, Books and a Basket of Coal. The story tells that in a mountainous region there live a grandfather and a grandchild. And the grandchild, as usual, see his grandfather read books so he tried to do it either. But then one day, the boy asked the grandfather that, uh, Grandpa, I have tried to write all those books like you, but I still couldn't understand them. So is there any point in readings? After I had heard the boy's questions, the old grandpa gave him a basket of coal dust and told him to bring the water home. In spite of his trying a lot, lot of time, he couldn't do it. But when he looked at the basket of coal, he found that it wasn't a dirty one. Uh, it, it wasn't a dirty basket anymore, but it was the clean one. So what happened to you? What happened to the basket when you read books? Maybe, my dear, you won't remember or understand everything, but when you read, books will change your soul, like what the water, the basket. So taking part in this ambassador of reading culture 2020 competitions, I want to create more details for the story to give you all a new ability for the story and make it more meaningful. So since then, the boy had a great love in readings and book had given him many interesting things. He had learned many interesting things and had get many information from books. And over time, the little boy nowadays has become a successful businessman with the role of managing director of a famous book contribution company. However, he still lives in a very simple house, but he used almost the money he earned for charity activities. And at every weekend, he distributes books for the... And every weekend, he distributes books to children in remote areas. This time, he organized his company staff group to do charity and distribute free books to a remote island residents. His charity had to spend two days long in the sea, then the ship could be landed in the islet. Hundreds of households living here has been isolated from the modern world outside. People earn their living by agriculture and fishing from the inherent natural resources. Because of the trouble of transportation, so, so the whole trade was limited with the outside and the children weren't interested in going to school too far. So a lot of people were face to face with the illiter illiteracy. No traffic, no electricity, no mobile wave and no TV. All the signs of a modern life were being lacked. So their knowledge level were low. People don't know much about the outside world. When the charity gave presents, everyone was very happy and competed together to receive the gifts. But as the charity distributed books, no one received it because they didn't know how to read books. The manager and everyone in the staff shaked their hands and sighed because they were illiterate, they hadn't read books, that they had low intellectuals. Their life became foggy and poor. And that is the reason of the poverty, the managing thoughts. If there is no light of book, no light in knowledge, and everyone and so people will leave their insights. So, how can they improve? Looking at the spectacular silence, the poetic nature, but the modern but the resident here had to suffer from the poverty, his heart cramps. He made up his mind to change their life and their destiny. Leaving the islet, he had a plan of building schools and libraries for the islet. He proposed the government to send teachers to the islet and gave hundreds of staff work as a librarians and taught people to read books. The islet seems to be blown a new wind, the wind of intellectuality and wisdom. Ten years passed and life in here had been completely changing. People is enthusiastic in reading books after work. Book has widened their knowledge too. It has taught them how to get rich on their land. From many informations and knowledge that book had given, many households knew how to trade. Many stores are built side by side, and the job now has to open more attractive tourism service by learning from books 
uh, which attracted to many foreigners. Now the islet has become the borough's islet, becomes on, become one of the most famous tourist area in its country. And resident Disney's has changed, has completely changing, change. They become rich men, rich women who are good at business with elegance and hospitable personality. The islet is also considered of the book's islet too, because there are a lot of libraries and you can read books in everywhere. Because of that, there are many bookcases from cafes to parks and hospitals. And the people in here have erected a monument where has a portrait statue of the managing director with a book beside him to impress his to impress him the regard to wait for it. And the managing director still flying in books and the journey of distributing book from everyone. And well, book has given light to everyone's knowledge and has been changing their destiny. I still remember a famous coach which is passed down through generations. Not all readers are leaders, but all leaders are readers. So on the way to success, book can be lacked for us. And this is the end of my story. Thanks for your listening. For me, book is an indispensable sport to dish. Reading book is a joy, being an endless passion can read whenever I have free time. And which day is too busy for me, I still spend 30 minutes reading books. If I'm chosen to be the ambassador of reading culture, I will try my best to inspire, to spread the love of readings to everyone, to all students. From there, contributing the development of reading culture, forming the reading habits in the communities. I will do it by those following methods. So firstly, I will create a club called Book Lover Clubs right in my own school, in the place where I live and even on the online as well. There, I will connect everyone with the same habits and hobbies as reading books. To share goods and ears for book together, together recommends about books meaning of ha or having group discussions. We will make the common goals to build community bookshelves by raising donations and fundraising to buy books to develop a reading culture in your community like an apartment building, other cultural house, on the ward, or the village clubs, the neighborhood, or the block. In those holidays or summer vacation, we will call upon the children to read books at the community at the community bookstores instead of just burying their minds in reading in computers and phone and playing in pilots game. The second thing that I have cherished since a long time, the desire is to raise funds to buy books and donating old and new books to buy some big bookcases for the provi pro provin provincial SOS student home village. Um, I, I want to bring the reading culture to the one who is disadvantages and incompetent. The third thing that I intend to do in the future is getting one bra bookcases for the blind, which must be chosen by me. I think more than anyone, the blind is the one who needs to read most because they lost the eye in their eyes, so they are able to see the light by your soul by the soul through the reading books. Book is a real teacher, a real friend to companion with your to companion you in your spiritual life. The fourth thing that I think it must be done to spread the love from reading is to establish and develop the libraries even in remote isolated villages, remote areas or minorities, ethnic areas with Miller's Institute propaganda to encourage people to read books to contribute to contribute providing the villagers knowledge the fifth thing which has to done right away is to develop a reading habit not just from a nursery school to high school or colleges but family plays an important role too giving an example our school living secondary school has charged many has charged many activities to enhance the important role of reading 
such as putting reading lessons in the curriculum, building a large library with lots of book titles, rich gems. Schools should also build a reading corner in the school yard with green place, shady, surrounded by benches and can be sat down from 40 to 50 friends. This is look like in our own miniature bag. Reading is, is very interesting. Our school also organized the introductions of new books in every first week of months, organize reading festivals and meeting presentations, discussion and share good books. Each classroom has each bookcase which is donated has and exchanged by classmates, putting them together and sharing good books. From five things that I want to recommend to all of you the most, I hope that I will be the ambassador of reading culture to get a chance to visit many places to share as well as connect to organizations and individuals to unanimously support me with mentally and physical, physically. For me to reach to my dream, there are the, these bands which are the still cherished by me will become reality to contribute to spread reading culture for a loving, friendly, community, Vietnamese community. If I can do that, I think I have accomplished the mission of being a reading ambassador. Thanks for the judge. Thanks for everyone who paid attention to my speech. I hope you will all like it. Bye!